My favorite organic food is carrots. Hi, I'm Stephen Greeley. I'm a senior project reviewer. Today I'm going to talk about pesticide residue complaints and what, if you're a client of ours, what you do about it. A lot of times our clients will find out about product contamination from a variety of sources. It could either come from their certifier alerting them, it might be something from their vendor or something from their customer. So the important thing to do when you do find out that you have got contamination is to put the product on hold and immediately contact your certification project manager at QAI. So once QAI is aware of the situation where there may be contaminated product, we will look at, we will look at the situation and evaluate what the actions need to be taken. Sometimes that involves an inspector going out, other times it can, we might have enough information already to issue a non-compliance letter. And that letter will be basically a key part of the investigation where we'll be asking our client to get back to us and explain to us what type of management controls they had in place. We might ask for documentation on cleanouts or various other types of documentation. And we will be asking for an audit trail to make sure we have a very clear linkage to the vendor upstream. We will evaluate the results against the maximum residual limits, that called, uh, which, are, which are allowed for that specific product and the pesticide or the residue that's con that is actually contaminating the product. Uh, a lot of times residues are a result of drift or something like that happening back at the field level. But a lot of times also the um, handlers don't realize that the contamination can happen within their facility if they are a mixed use facility. If they have conventional on one side and organic on the other side, it could be even as something like dust taking the contamination across. It could also be incomplete cleanouts of, of lines or other types of commingling. The certifiers are required under the various regulations to work together to identify the source. It's one of the, the main reasons why we need a very clean audit trail and with lot numbers that link, dates that match and if you're importing it's especially important to make sure you're getting the phytosanitary documentation that shows that there were no treatments done at the international border. Under the NOP and most organic regulations, there is no requirement for a product recall. We don't have that recall power in the regulation. However, if the product that is, if the contamination is of a particular nature, whether it's very elevated or it's a pesticide that's not approved on that food, then QAI will be responsible to hand that issue off to the appropriate public health and safety agency so they can then take the actions that are within their jurisdiction. The main thing to remember is to immediately contact your certification project manager so that we can help you resolve the situation because it's in everybody's best interest that we're able to resolve it as quickly as possible so that you're not leaving product on hold for a long length of time.